Hey guys, what's up? So I wanted to make this video because I've been noticing people getting really confused about DNA, how come they don't share more DNA than they should or they feel they should, or you know, if there's two siblings, like why does this person have you know more Irish than German or vice versa if they're coming from the same parents. And also just helping people and you know helping them find their families other people start questioning like well if this is her first cousin and this is her first cousin how come they aren't sharing the exact same amount of Sunday Morgan's DNA so I thought hey why not make a video to try to explain it and hopefully you guys will understand why so what I did was I made some clear cups with some candy as you can see to try to to demonstrate and so basically this is a grandma and grandpa and this is grandma and grandpa these are two separate grandparents right so I fill them all with the same thing so grandma is all of this white one grandpa is all of this brown raisinets this grandpa is all green M&Ms and this grandma is candy corn so basically what happens is your mom and dad let me find mom and dad cups so I made cups and I made these lines so I know where to fill this up with but so this is dad and this is mom so you get 50% of DNA from both parents. So if this is dad, he's gonna get 50% DNA from grandpa. And 50% from his grandma, I mean from his mother. He gets 50% from his father, 50% from his mother. Well, in actuality, there should be more in here, but obviously I didn't buy that many bags of candy, but this is 100%. So what I'm going to do with this is move grandma and grandpa out of here, mix dad in here, pour him back in. So this is dad. And now mom, I'm going to mix in half of her father. And half of her mother okay. and then I'm going to dump her in this to mix so it mixes and dump her back in okay so this is 50% of her mom and dad and this is 50% of his mom and dad now these two parents get married and decide to have a child so they had. They decide to have two children. They have child number one, child number two. So child number one is going to get fifty percent of their mother, and fifty percent of their father. Now I'm going to mix them in the bowl. So it's mixed evenly. So here's child number one. Child number two is also going to get 50% of dad, 50% of mom. Mix them up. Okay, so here's mom and dad's two children. Same parents, same DNA. So you see that they're all mixed in here together. Now, if you look really closely, obviously you don't know because I haven't literally counted out each and every one, but as you can just see visually, the green seems to be pretty even. Everything seems to be pretty even in here because they're, they're both 50-50. But one might have gotten more candy corn than the other. One might have gotten more raisinets than the other one because that's just DNA. DNA, you know, it's like gambling. You don't know how much you're going to get. So these two children decide, hey, let's get married. So child number two meets their spouse. Child number one meets their spouse. They decide, hey, we should have children. Let's have children together. So that would be first cousin number one because these two will be first cousins when they're born. So this child gets 50% of their 
father. Fifty percent of their mother. I'm going to mix it in the bowl so it, it mixes even more. Dump them back in. There's first cousin. These two get together to make this person's first cousin over here, another first cousin. So half, half of mom, half of dad. Get them out of here. I'm going to mix them together. Dump them back in. Now, these two are first cousins. Now, they should share a certain amount of DNA, obviously. But now, this person comes along. Obviously, this person's empty. And they just got an ancestry. They're trying to find out, hey, who's my family? You know, they get these two matches. They both come up as, you know, a first cousin to them maybe, first cousin, second cousin, whatever. But yet this person only shares maybe, okay, so first cousin would have about 600 set of Morgan. So this person has 600 set of Morgan shared with this person and this person only has, you know, 500 set of Morgan shared. But yet these two are first cousins and they're still coming up as a first cousin to this person. But why is it that this cousin has more yellow than this cousin or why does this cousin have more candy corn than this cousin because that's just how DNA is DNA is rolling of the dice you don't know all you do know is that you get 50% of your DNA from your mom 50% from your dad you don't know how much of that 50% you're gonna get from mom or dad so you just don't know it's literally a gamble so I'm hoping this video kind of help explain why you might share more DNA or more of a part of your DNA like maybe this person was more Irish and this person was more black and they don't understand why like that's why so hopefully this video didn't just confuse you and it made some sort of sense to you to see that dumping all the DNA and and as you keep having more children and more children and more children it starts to dwindle away so yeah hope this helps please like this video share comment subscribe to my channel let me know if this video helps you if you have any questions please feel free to ask and um i'll answer them below so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later